Uh, have sunshine and uh, power of trouble against Box Hill as you have a look at the scores there on the Mitsubishi scoreboard. And I have with us our commentators for the second division in Tony Banks and Eddie Maguire. Now, uh, Tony, you've been watching it quite closely. Box Hill look a class above Sunshine, although Sunshine ended on top of the ladder. Yes, they jumped them in the uh, first quarter. Phil got six goals up on the board, and that's virtually been the difference from there on in. Well, Eddie Maguire, you've learned four teams for the day. No mean feat. Yes, Phil, <laughs> I've earned my money this week. Right, Eddie, what do you think about this game? It appears as though Sunshine have been falling it down uh, right across the half-forward line. Yes, that's right, Phil. Uh, Litchfield, their uh, star full forward, who's kicked 121 goals so far for the season, has only kicked three goals today. He's been well held by Richard Murray. Guys like uh, Nicholson, who's kicked two goals, and also Garth, number 45, who's kicked four goals, one for the day. They've been the star players so far. OK, boys, well, in a few moments, I'll be calling uh, the last quarter of this game. We remind you that the big match in the second semi-final today will be between Frankston and Coburg being played here at the Junction Oval. So now, let's take you down to Tony Banks. Thank you very much, Philip. Well, there's 16 minutes into the final quarter. And Garth is just about to pop in another one. No, he's missed it. He kicked the ball that far up in the air. He nearly brought rain. Looks like they could be a little bit coming in from the south today, but uh, three for one point. He's kicked four goals so far. And has been quite instrumental in Box Hill taking over in this final quarter. Although Withers, Eddie, has uh, kicked uh, a couple of goals in this final quarter. And the captain certainly contributed well. As yes, also. Withers has been a good player, as is Sheridan in defence. We're watching Proteto uh, there out on the outer side for Sunshine, who finished second in the Jayfield medal this year. His kick up towards Mitrovsky. Mitrovsky with the long hand pass back towards Shepherdbottom. Shepherdbottom draws his opponent, then chips forward towards Litchfield. Can't pick up the half volley. Relieving well as Richard Murray there for the box hill side, the captain coach. His long hand pass is almost intercepted there by Proteto. He goes in again. Mitrovsky goes in hard. The umpire lets play go on. And finally the ball comes wide out towards Cup. But the umpire's picked out a free kick as he no play on he says and the ball ends up with withers down on the half forward line for the box hill side box hill into attack luke bolton goes up he was uh, out man three to one then had no chance shepherd bottom gets the ball thinks about the hand pass does get it across here in the direction of lawler lawler clears towards the wing and it's all sunshine but where's he going to kick it when he gets it? He's not going to get it. Yes, he does. He tries to get the handball away, McWilder, but can't. They're running into each other. The ball on the wing position. The umpire's going to call in and bounce it up at the 18-minute mark of the final quarter. With uh, Sunshine looking a, certainly a little bit bedraggled then and a little bit tired. Box Hill have run all over them. That's right, Tony. As you said, Box Hill got the jump early on. They kicked 4-1 before Sunshine had even got on the scoreboard. As we see Lawler kick long forward. But once again, oh, I've misjudged there as Mitrovsky comes on, steadies onto the left boot, chips at the ball and just squeezes it through. And that's Mitrovsky's first goal of the game. He's kicked one goal too. And Sunshine, as we've seen in all four quarters so far, come back late in the quarter, Tony. Yeah, Danny Mitrovsky certainly made his presence felt uh, physically too out on the ground because he... Uh... He certainly let a few know that he was out there and uh, to mean business earlier on. Let's go through the goal kickers. Uh... Litchfield has kicked three. He has been moved out towards centre-half forward to try and lift the Sunshine forward division. Shepherdbottom has kicked two and at the moment is uh, heading up on the... Half-forward flank He's on the half-forward yes. flank there. Looks like his brother, Darrell Nelson, the other blonde-headed boy there at centre-half back. Into attack again, Sunshine, at the 19-minute mark of the final quarter. They've got a chance, but they're about five goals behind. They need to do something. Good defence there by Box Hill. No, he, he, couldn't yes. get out, he couldn't get it away quick enough. And the free kick is going to be paid to Chris Forbes. True centre-half forward position, about 55 metres out. Got a slight wind advantage. It's a strange wind today, but most of the goals have been kicked at the city end of the ground. Although Box Hill have contributed a few in the final quarter. The ball coming around, a little bit offside. It's going to fall in short. Gone to ground. Good defence there by Box Hill. They get it out on towards the half-forward flank. A half-back flank, rather, for Box Hill, and Withers uh, first for the ball. Plays it in front of him, goes to ground, taps on. Free kick. No, he's played dropping the ball. I thought he'd done enough there to get rid of it. The big fellow out there, Shane Walsh, is going to be paid the free kick. And Walsh is, thinks he can kick the distance. He's kicking into a bit of a breeze. It's a beautiful kick. 
right into the goal square, off the hands of the pack and through for one point. Sunshine, move to 9, 11, 65, Box Hill 14, 15, 99, 34 points the difference. Just running through those goal kickers again, we've got Litchfield with three, Shepperbottom two, then Mitrovsky, McWalter, Walsh and Moss have kicked one each, all for Sunshine. For Box Hill, Withers with three, is only headed by Garth who's kicked four goals today, the Little Rover, then Nicholson with two and Bolton with two, Cuff one, Dwyer one and O'Shea one. Good mark by Walsh then on the half uh, forward line, he kicks in, the ball falls short though and it's going to be taken by Richard Murray, the captain coach of Box Hill and he's been sound in defence down there and certainly helped his side. I would say go into the uh, grand final at this stage, even though there's about 10 minutes left in this particular match. Yes, Murray's been a great player today, kept Litchfield to only three goals. In the corresponding game earlier in the year, Litchfield kicked nine goals and kept Sunshine in it. But on that occasion, Box Hill was successful by three points. Ball on the outer side of the ground. Sunshine desperately trying to get a few goals on the board. Players diving on top of the pack. It comes out to McWalter. McWalter's right foot snap is marked right on the line by Sheridan, who's been a top player today. He plays on straight away, but the umpire will bring him back and make him kick over the mark. Just going through the good players for uh, Box Hill. Sheridan's done very well. Nicholson, Cuff. Luke Bolton, I thought, Eddie's done a great job in this last quarter. He's done all the heavy work, uh, both in the ruck and also up on the forward line. And for Sunshine, they've had their good players as well. Yes, yeah, Scanlon's been good in defence. Mitrovsky, as we said, Brown in the centre. Cade in the ruck has been a good player. And Lawler also in defence. And as we said earlier, they've really lost up forward uh, across the half forward line where they haven't been able to convert. As, as we've seen, the majority of the play in this quarter since we've been on has been in the Sunshine forward line and they're yet to convert a couple of goals. They probably have tried to put uh, too much on Hugh Litchfield to kick all the goals up forward. Richard Murray, a very experienced uh, footballer. He's played with a couple of league clubs. He has had a uh, rather off season, both through injury and also through suspension. He's only managed to have seven games for the season. So when you think, consider the fact that there's, uh, what this is their 19th game of the year, Richard Murray certainly likes a bit of a holiday, whether it be enforced or whether it be through the tribunal. Box Hill now closing down play. Another ball up on the outer side of the ground. Cade in the ruck. Metzner gets the tap. Comes out wide. Dwyer now with the left footer up towards the half forward line, but back in defence for the Sunshine side is Caldwell. Caldwell. Caldwell has been a good player today. Has leads from Shepperbottom. The torpedo is a floater. Up towards the half forward line, a huge leap there from the Box Hill player. Lawler goes in, was pushed in the back. Play on, says the umpire. Rotetto goes in hard. Over the ball was Dwyer for Box Hill, but the umpire will come in and bounce. Tony Brown in the hands of the trainers then, uh, unfortunately, was used as a stepladder and uh, may have had the wind knocked out of him. Shepard bottom out of the ruck. Tries to get a handball working. Comes out wide. Box Hill go further forward. This time it's Nicholson, who's been a great player today. He chips forward, high up to full forward. At behind was Bolton. As Tony said, one of the best players on the ground today, if not the best. And Bolton, Luke Bolton, has kicked two goals so far for the game. He will line up from 35 metres out from goal directly in front. Kicked his goals uh, late in the game and certainly uh, has been instrumental in Box Hill holding out Sunshine because they have had the wind advantage in this final quarter. Kicks the ball, looks like he's just a skew here though, it's just gone through for a point. Didn't judge the wind uh, sufficiently there, but it's uh, good enough for Box Hill to uh, bring up the 100 points and 35 points the difference. Two minutes away from time on. And with the free kick about to come up, no, no, it's going to be picked up here by Sunshine and uh, Darren Brown gets the ball around short into Dorgan. the wing position. Dorgan with a beautiful hand pass there to Protetto, who was met solidly by Murray. Has not moved Pepe Protetto. 